Hey Logic Language Learners, I hope you are all really well. Um, it's January here, it's miserable, and I always think winter without Christmas is, um, is a difficult period. <laughs> so I'm going to do a video on positivity, because yeah, I've got some really positive news. So I'm going to do quite a slow speak in the English and then translate into the French for you. Speak along, press pause, copy, copy the sentences, off you go. So, um, I really think it's time for a little bit of positivity. Je pense que c'est vraiment le moment pour un petit peu de positivité. Because uh, the weather's bad and it's cold. Parce qu'il fait froid, parce qu'il fait mauvais et il fait froid. So, I'm going to tell you a story. Um, and I think it's going to make you really happy. Et je vais vous raconter une histoire et je pense que ça va vous rendre très, 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 très heureux. So, I, um, I signed up to the gym near my house um, about two years ago. Je me suis inscrit au gymnase près de ma maison il y a à peu près deux ans. But there isn't a swimming pool, mais il n'y a pas de piscine. Il n'y a pas de bassin. So, every week, uh, now it's open, I go to a public swimming pool, uh, which is about five minutes from my house. Mais toutes les semaines, chaque semaine, maintenant qu'elle est ouverte, je vais à une piscine publique municipale près de ma maison. Um, the rules are quite strict because of COVID. Les règles sont assez strictes à cause du Covid. So, you have to, you're not allowed to use the changing rooms to get ready only after swimming. Donc, on ne peut pas se servir des vestiaires pour se préparer euh, uniquement après avoir fait de la natation. And you have to walk all the way around the pool <laughs> in your swimming trunks. Um, uh, and you're not allowed to go the other, in the other direction. Uh, et il faut marcher tout autour de la piscine, du, du bassin, et un sens unique. So, I was talking to a guy in the changing rooms about this. I think I made a joke. Alors, moi, je parlais avec un mec dans les vestiaires. Moi, j'en parlais avec un mec dans les vestiaires. And he seemed really sad. Um, et il avait l'air vraiment triste. So, um, I can't remember how we were talking about it in the conversation. Je m'en souviens plus. Mais on a commencé à en parler pendant la conversation. We were obviously talking about COVID restrictions and whatever. You know, on parlait des mesures de, de protection pour le COVID, etc. And I happened to mention, well... I'm quite careful with this kind of thing because I have done a lot of volunteer work with the immunology department at Great Ormond Street, which is the children's hospital in London. Et moi, je lui ai dit que euh, je faisais attention, je faisais très attention parce que je fais du bénévolat pour le département euh, d'immunologie euh, à Great Ormond Street, l'hôpital pour les enfants à Londres. And he said... This, the most interesting thing, lui, il a dit la chose la plus intéressante. He said, oh, my daughter's going to be born there. Which was an interesting time thing to say. Il a dit, uh, ma fille, elle va y naître. And they don't have the biggest maternity department. Ils n'ont pas le service de maternité énorme. So I said, oh, is it something to do with the heart? Est-ce que c'est un problème cardiaque? C'est quelque chose à voir avec le cœur. And he looked a little bit upset. Il avait l'air un peu perturbé. And he said, no, it's a diaphragm. And he couldn't sort of, you know, remember the word exactly. Um, et il a dit, non, uh, c'est quelque chose diaphragm. Et il avait du mal à se souvenir du mot. I said, do you mean diaphragmatic hernia? J'ai dit, est-ce que vous voulez dire une hernie diaphragmatique? And he said, yeah, how do you know? Il a dit, oui, uh, comment est-ce que vous le savez? And I don't talk about my family um, on YouTube, but let's just say 
uh, the most important person in my world, <laughs> who's a small, a small person of seven years old. Um, yeah, and she had exactly the same problem. Alors moi, je lui ai dit que ma, um, elle a eu le même problème. And uh, he found this really shocking. Alors il a trouvé choquant. Because I think he was convinced that his daughter was going to die. Je pense qu'il était largement convaincu que sa fille allait mourir. And he hadn't yet spoken to Great Ormond Street. I think she'd just been diagnosed from their normal routine maternity care. Et, et si je me trompe pas, il n'avait pas encore parlé avec Great Ormond Street directement. Euh, la petite euh, avait été diagnostiquée normalement. Et voilà. So, you have to be careful because obviously her pathology could be completely different than my blank. Um, uh, il faut faire attention parce que ça se peut que sa pathologie soit tout à fait différente que celle de ma blanc. And um, he... But I said to him, this isn't as terrible as I think you think it is. Ce n'est pas aussi terrible. The majority of children will be okay with this kind of thing. La plupart euh, des enfants qui ont atteint de ce genre de choses vont bien ou iront bien euh, après. So he seemed really, really happy and, you know, relieved by this kind of thing. Il avait l'air bien soulagé, tout léger. He said, oh, thank you so much for... For telling me about this, I find this really, really positive. Merci bien, merci beaucoup euh, de m'en avoir parlé. Euh, je le trouve très, très, très positif. And I said, look, here's my number. If you need to call me, because I've, I've obviously been through the same experience. J'ai dit, alors voici mon numéro, mes coordonnées. Si vous avez besoin de me contacter, parce que j'ai parcouru la même expérience, la même expérience, don't hesitate to contact me. N'hésitez pas à me contacter. So we stayed in touch. On est resté en contact. And then he asked me to speak to his, and I offered actually to speak to his wife because I sort of, I said, she's the most important person right now. Keep her calm the rest of the pregnancy, you know, because she's, she's still doing her job of making the baby and, you know, try and keep her calm. Alors j'ai dit euh, que sa femme était la personne la plus importante et qu'il fallait qu'elle reste calme pour euh, la durée de la grossesse euh, avant l'accouchement, before the delivery. So, I spoke to the, I spoke to his wife. Alors, j'ai parlé avec sa femme. Annoyingly, I'd said to call me anytime. Ce qui est énervant, c'est que je lui avais dit de m'appeler quand il voulait. And it was just when the French group were all together in the Renaissance Hotel um, in London, having champagne to celebrate being together. Et c'était juste quand le groupe tu veux, de mes étudiants français était tout, tout le monde était ensemble en train de boire un peu de champagne. So, I think he felt that he, he, he bothered me and that completely wasn't the case. Je pense qu'il pensait qu'il m'avait euh, énervé, qu'il m'avait gêné, qu'il m'avait dérangé. C'était vraiment pas le cas. So, we stayed in contact. Alors, on est resté en contact. Um, and she was born. Elle est née. And, uh, yeah, she's beautiful. Elle est magnifique. And uh, he sent me a photograph. Alors, il m'a envoyé une photo. And the little person in my life who had the same uh, health condition is incredibly, you know, bothered about, you know, what's going on. Alors, la petite personne dans ma vie qui avait le même, euh, la même condition, elle est hyper concernée, impliquée um, avec ce qui se passe. And then they went to Great Ormond Street for the operation. Alors ensuite, ils sont allés à Great Ormond Street pour euh, l'opération, chirurgie, the surgery. I think I'd said that if they, he wanted me to show him around the area or the facilities, what there is, um, um, supermarkets, bits and pieces, to tell me that I would do that. But you're so busy when you're a parent with this kind of thing, so you can't normally do that. Je pense que je lui avais quand même dit que s'il voulait que je vienne lui montrer certaines choses, les supermarchés, les petites superettes, etc., que je serais prête à le faire. Um, yeah. Then he sent me a beautiful picture saying, you know, she was born. Ensuite, il m'a envoyé une belle photo disant, elle est née, she's beautiful. Um, I said, let me know when she's going to have the operation. J'ai dit, tiens-moi au courant, dis-moi quand elle aura l'opération, quand elle va se faire opérer. Um, 
And then he sent me a fabulous little video saying, um, uh, Matilda, I, I think, I don't think that's giving away too much information. You don't know where he is. Um, he, he sent me a fabulous little video saying Matilda is going on a, you know, a little trip uh, in the, uh, in an ambulance today. Et ensuite, il m'a envoyé une vidéo fabuleuse pour me dire que Mathilde uh, va faire un petit séjour. Uh... <laughs> it was really, really cute. Um, avec des ambulanciers. And, um, yeah, and then I sent another message saying, you know, how's it gone? Uh, je lui ai envoyé un autre message pour lui demander comment ça s'est passé. Um, ou comment ça s'était passé. And, yeah, and he said, it's gone really, really well. Um, she's going to be fine. I'm really happy. Let's meet for a beer. Et il a dit que ça s'est très bien passé. Uh, elle va s'en sortir uh, qu'on se voit, qu'on se retrouve pour une bière, pour un café. So I said, okay, that's fine. Um, I've had my three vaccinations. À Georges, j'ai dit oui. Uh, alors c'est bien. J'ai eu mes trois vaccins. I'll do a test anyway. Je serais prête à faire un test quand même. Um, you know, to protect mom and baby and the hospital in general. Uh, in general. Alors, pour protéger euh, ma la maman, euh, le bébé et l'hôpital en général. Um, or we could just have a, you know, a drink outside. On pourrait quand même boire un coup euh, à l'extérieur. Um, but yeah, it's just fabulous news. And, and I just said, now you just get to be a dad and enjoy your daughter. Alors maintenant, vous avez la possibilité d'être papa. Lovely. Et profitez d'être papa, profitez de, 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 de ta fille. Um, so yeah, and I just thought to myself... And I was really careful not to say it will be completely fine. Alors moi, j'ai fait très attention de ne pas lui dire, voilà, c'est bien. Because it is obviously dangerous. Évidemment, c'est dangereux. But it wasn't the nightmare-ish situation that I think he thought it was. Ce n'était pas la situation cauchemardesque qu'il envisageait. And I really, really am a massive, massive believer that, you know, our tribe is is so powerful you know you know it, um you know it, nos tribus sont hyper puissantes uh, sont hyper puissantes it's like information is just so powerful Le, uh, ce genre d'information est est tellement uh, puissante so even within my group of students that i have that all know each other même parmi le groupe d'étudiants que j'ai qui se connaissent tous you know, there's a there's an exchange of experiences and learning experiences with French, but also just various resources about life and different things that they've been through. And you just really believe in the power of the tribe. I'm a massive believer in the power of the tribe. So yeah, I thought that was fabulous. So anyway, I've mentioned Great Ormond Street before. Alors j'ai parlé de cet hôpital avant. Nobody is under any obligation. You know, vous n'êtes pas obligé. If you wanted to make a gesture and a donation, this kind of life-saving work is done, you know, um, they're ever so easy to find. If you just type GOSH, G-O-S-H, uh, into, I think they're a dot .org, um, you know, into Google, you can donate online, even a couple of pounds, but you're under no obligation from me. But, you know, and if ever anybody's in London, si vous êtes jamais à Londres, sur Londres, um, you're, you can go to Great Ormond Street. I wouldn't go inside, you know, but you can walk in front. And you can see that the, the pub opposite is called the Perseverance, which I think is the most amazing name for a pub where parents are just trying to hang on in there and be strong. Uh, et je pense que sincèrement, c'est le meilleur nom pour un pub quand les enfants uh, essaient de, de tenir le coup et de, de, de rester fort. Um, yeah, I think it's the perfect name. Um, je pense que c'est nommé parfaitement. C'est vraiment le nom parfait. Um, and you'll often see people in their dressing gowns, bathrobes, you know, in the street outside the hospital, just having a little moment of calm for themselves before going back in, you know, not knowing what they're going to face. Et souvent, c'est possible de voir les parents en robe de chambre, robe de, um, en peignoir, en train de prendre un petit moment de calme. Souvent, ils fument uh, avant d'y rentrer pour, pour affronter quelque chose. You know, and I think it's a really, it makes you realise how we are very lucky. So good, so... As, you know, as Shakespeare says, all's well that ends well. So, yeah, so we wish, you know, we wish, wish uh, little Matilda, uh, you know, a fabulous life. And yeah, it's, there's a lot of negativity uh, at the moment in the news and all of this. And I just thought a nice little happy story, that would be fabulous. Don't forget, guys, I've got the podcasts um, 
grammar podcast, one-to-one podcast, vocab podcasts, and um, yeah, and I need to tell you something interesting about Instagram. So I'll be in touch soon. Speak soon. I hope you enjoyed the little story. A bit of positivity. There's always some, somewhere in the world, there's always something lovely going on. Somebody's always getting a happy ending. We don't all get happy endings, but somebody, somebody somewhere is always getting their happy ending. And you have to try and remember that. Um, that sounds a bit cheeky. <laughs> I do like a happy ending. A massage with a happy ending. Um, good. So I hope you're all well. Loads of love. Take care.